Okay, John, do you want to say your bit? Then we can um, carry on. Yes, on. okay. Yes. Uh, well, we're starting Q&A right now. So that that would mean you folks will see the Q&A up. And that's where we want you to ask your questions. Uh, and the only thing I would say, I would say is please, while we're having the Q&A up for everyone to ask their questions, please don't chat or greet or praise anybody <laughs> or anything at the moment in the Q&A section. And you'll notice that it's the Q&A section because we, we can't use the chat area now as we used to. So just please, while we have the Q&A going, please just ask questions. After all, if you're sitting here listening, you're probably going to learn something from some a question that somebody may ask. So please don't chat in the Q&A. Thank you. Thank you, Brad John. So the Q&A section is open. So if you have any question, please do type it in there or you raise your hand, please. Thank you. We keep an eye out for questions. If you don't have questions, that means we all go away fulfilled tonight. I think there's a question. He says, is anyone, is by Sister Mayan, Zuko. I said, is anyone experiencing difficulty in registering new affiliates? Has anyone had any difficulty in that, please? Or any, any affiliates registering? Or they're finding it difficult to register? Um, I managed to register two affiliates this week and I've had no issue. So um, I'll just give them my, my link and uh, they registered and that was it. They're, 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 they're actually there in my back office as well. Okay. Um, okay. Sister okay. Mine, you can hear that. So Brad Peter said his money to do, send his link to two people and they actually registered and he's, he's already seen them in his uh, back office. Okay. Okay, there's another question there. While we were waiting for questions, we have many members who don't understand the purpose of changing the website pages so often. Could someone please make people understand how important it is? So our brothers, who wants to take that? While we are waiting for questions, there are some many there are many members who don't understand the purpose of changing the website pages of so often. So could someone please make people understand how important it is? Well, one one thing Who I wants would to say, and I'm not, the, I'm, I'm not the technical, uh, technically minded okay. guy, but uh, one thing I do know about websites was that um, <clears throat> if you change things on the website, Google takes it into consideration. So when you're searching for things, mm -hmm. you tend to come up, you know, those websites that, that change on a regular basis, if it's just a name, it still doesn't move. But if the whole thing changes, then um, it it goes to the top of the search engine on a regular basis. I'm sure the guys will confirm that. But uh, that was my understanding, and that's one reason. Yeah, that's partly correct, Andy. And also, um, you know, it, it just, uh, it's just another branding marketing strategy. It's good. It shows that we are on on top of things the content of the website does not change it just gives us a different flair um makes it interesting different designs it does just gives a uh it's a, also a sublime message of the kind of company that we are dealing with how they are into innovations and then the you know the way websites are designed and developed from a few years back is different from how it is now so they are constantly going to innovate and create the change to bring you know the style you know, uh, uh, it's just um, nice to see and for us looking forward to having a new website every week. It, it's uh, just a branding and marketing thing. That's how I look at it. And also, uh, 
getting us some more visibility in the internet space. So it's a good thing. I don't know if uh, Collins or Oliver, any of them want to add maybe, anything. Maybe I might add something. I think some years ago, I think that was in 2021, Mr. Ash Mufara said he was going to get um, we are one million uh, uh, different websites. So each person will have his own website different from another person. And then we are all in on passive. So imagine a company that your website is on passive, but it doesn't look like my website and we are in the same right. place. So yes. that was the way of, he called it like, uh, uh, like uh, Uncle Bob just said, a campaign, a different way of campaigning the business. Right. And like Angie said, bringing something different every day when you make the search online. So that's my own understanding. That's true. He said that that every one of us is going to have our own website and it's going to be different. So that they have the various templates, different kinds of websites. So it's going to be rotating from you. Yours is going to be different from mine today, tomorrow. Maybe I can have your design the next day. So it's going to replicate along uh, uh, every single uh, 1.4 million founders, affiliates, or those who are coming in. But for now, we'll just add that main onpassive.com domain, which is changing every day. I think he even said it will, at some point it will be maybe twice or three times a week the website will change. It's just a flare just to yes. give us an, you know, extra visibility and look and just to show how the seriousness of onpassive and the dynamic, our, our capability, our ability to, to make change, you know, uh I, I find it attractive yeah and this is also part of branding and marketing you know yeah and uh, that uh, the world will know you through your website and to all the different websites that that each of each and every one of us you know it will be out there you know it's just a uh, uh, part of marketing and uh on the unpassive style mm -hmm. and or the, or the unpassive way yeah All right. Um, well, I'm just going to come in here. Sister, for me, um, when you, whenever you're ready, just let me know. Thank you so much, Brother Bob, Oliver, and the rest for answering that question. Uh, um, the next one is from Alice. But before Alice comes in, Mr. Um, Mayan, you had your hand up. Uh, can you come up with your question, please? So uh, after that, I'll go to Alice. Mr. Mayan. Uh, she oh, says she'll be right she's, back, so she's, she's okay, not great. there. All right. right. Okay, great. Thank you. All right. So, uh, Alice, the question goes, I have a question about open it. I know that it's not deaf friendly. Would that change to be deaf friendly? Uh, I believe this is a question that I see you has tackled before, uh, but I'm going to call on uh, uh, Aunt Elaine since she can relate to the deaf community uh until then would you be kind enough yeah. to the question oh let me well, let me answer that ahead. and then mm -hmm. can chip in sure okay go ahead yeah yes yeah. so uh you know at some point sometime maybe like a couple of years ago that question was asked to mr ash and he just said he was he will work on it but now if you understand uh what he has done with this our new the 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 ai components you know there are five ai components that are going to be enabled uh, in addition to all the, the the features that you see here, about 20 or 25, 25, 20 or 22 features, we have five AI components, which is translations, um, caption, video background, noise cancellation, and text to speech. If you understand the uh, how the, the caption and the text to speech work, right? We're not going to go to details. Mr. Ash Bufara has taken care of that the, the, the problem for the for the deaf community, the deaf, blind, and even the dumb. Because with caption, you you can see in the video conference you will see the the text being displayed on the street in the various languages. It trans it's also auto translated the caption. Right. So the 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 deaf can read. They can read that, but they cannot speak. But with the speech, with the text to speech, the system takes the text and translate and and 
converts it, they have what they call linguistic analysis and text synthesis. They translate, they break it down into components and then they extract, they, 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 they turn it into speech. That's what is happening. So now the deaf, the dumb can type in their, their, their statement and it can come out in words. That's what that's what that does. You see, so so the deaf, the dumb, and the blind are taken care of when you understand those AI components that Mr. Ash has told us that they are almost ready uh, to be implemented. And once that is done, that's why I call O Connect a global collaboration platform for everyone, including the deaf, the blind, the dumb, and and, and the persons with, with disabilities. So, Antilin, you can. I mean, I just wanted to to bring in that technical side of it so that. To, to 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 clarify the, the, the answer. Thank you, Bob. That was very um, elucidating. Appreciate it. Um, you know the improvements that we see in O Connect today are quite significant. O Connect today is nothing like what it was when we first got it. Think back how it was very very basic when we first began and look at how complex it is today and with multiple features that other video conferencing platforms don't offer you know so i think about the accommodation to people with disabilities in that light that i believe things are being improved incrementally ash mafara and his tech team have their priorities and they have to work on what's most important not that captioning is not important, but I believe that over time, all of these components that the deaf and the deaf blind and the low vision are looking for will be available. It's just a matter of when. So we ask your patience and you know confidence in Mr. Mafara and his tech team because they have a heart for those with disabilities, no doubt. They are interested in providing universal accessibility as far as communication to go. So it's just a matter of let's be patient and let's know that these things are going to happen. Um, you know, I've been accepting feedback from the deaf leaders who get their um, information from their people. And we've been going over those features that need to be incorporated or maybe features that need to be improved. And th this information is ge getting provided to Mr. Bafara. So I think we just need to be patient. Things are going to happen. And I think the deaf, deaf blind, the, um, the blind, mm -hmm. low vision, hard of hearing, all of that community will be thrilled when they see the accommodations that are going to be made eventually. Thank you. Yeah, and, and also, uh... If you remember, I think a couple of weeks ago, Mr. Ash said that uh, uh, they were, I think maybe now it should be now closer to maybe 98%. He said uh, translations, I think from English to Hindi, they were at 90% accuracy. So that was about three weeks ago. So, you know, AI perfects itself with time, right? As it collects the data, it perfects itself. So I'm not surprised to find out that maybe we are now close to 100% accuracy. And if that happens for, for that one language, then you know what you, you know the story. Back All to right. You. Um, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Brother Bob and uh, Auntie Lynn for taking the question. And Alice, um, that's uh, the answer to your question. And um, Alice also put in said, uh, we deaf founders need equal accessibility as hearing people. Certainly you do. Uh, but before uh, I go to Samayin and the other question, Antelene, um, just um, talking about this particular issue, how do we address our, um, the, our, the, our friends, our family and friends on the other side? I'm talking about the deaf community. I mean, I'm talking about the ways to use, you know, okay. so we have, most of us are not really familiar. Sometimes we might say something that might not be, might be offensive. Yeah. So give yeah, just um, give us some uh, idea about it. Yes, go yeah. ahead. We kind of go with what the deaf community calls themselves. So the deaf community are very proud of being um, deaf. They have a deaf culture that is unique. And so they want to be referred to as deaf.
just simply deaf. Those that can hear speech normally refer to themselves as hard of hearing. So we would say deaf and hard of hearing. Uh, those that are deaf and blind, we call them deaf blind. Blind people, we can call blind. It's not uh, insulting to say blind at all. We can say blind. And if they have some vision, residual vision, we say low vision. So blind, low vision, deaf, hard of hearing, deaf blind. Hopefully that's clear. So I wanted to say that the the term um, hearing impaired or visual impaired, that has been tossed around for decades. Decades ago, it was the politically appropriate to say hearing impaired and vision impaired, but that was based on a medical model. In other words, when you would go to a physician, the physician would look at the person as lacking, right? Lacking the sense of hearing or lacking the sense of sight. So it's a medical model terminology which we now shy away from. Unfortunately, the media uh, persists this, these terms. So you continue to hear hearing impaired and vision impaired or visually impaired, but let's not use that anymore. It's no longer appropriate. So, you know, as I said, people are proud of, of being deaf, for example, and they want to be called deaf. So hopefully that elucidates everyone. How about Thank those you. who can't speak? What's their, what's their polite way of what's the polite yeah. way of agreeing yeah, them usually, yeah that's a good question they usually don't refer to that the, the speech capacity at all it's never referred to so you what's know, a polite you, way to uh, uh, address like, like when you're talking about deaf you wouldn't yeah. say deaf who can't oh. speak it's not necessarily because there are deaf who can speak and deaf who cannot speak and it's not a really a critical part of who the person is, whether they can speak or not. So we just say deaf, but if you want to describe the person, you could say this deaf person um, is nonverbal or doesn't speak. They use American Sign Language as their primary language or something like that. You could refer to it that way. Okay, thank you. All right, um, thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks so much for that education. At least we've all gotten something here. Yes, um, next question. Um, it's from Gemma. My sister Gemma says, uh, okay, um, Gemma, I'm going to come back to your question. I have one that has been, yeah. yes, um, published. Uh, this is from Prince Frederick. If I may ask, are we going to subscribing one product every three months or subscribe just once? Um, is anybody uh, ready to take that? I'll leave that to Andy. <laughs> yeah, hi. Um, the The... The likelihood or the expectation um, from Mr. Mafara has been that um, you pay once and and you shouldn't need to um, to pay again. So, in other words, the object of the exercise was uh, you 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 get given a customer um, and they bio connect. Well, they give you a hundred percent of their contribution. Now we're going to have new packages coming in. Um, so we don't know what the exact figures are, but based on the previous, it was $125, um, every month so 375 for a quarterly, um, payment. Now we didn't have to pay that as, as, um, you know, founder affiliates, you could say or early birds because we got $97 back that we paid originally and we got a discount. So um, there was one month free and then the $97 came off. So let's put this into perspective regarding uh, the new products. So let's say for argument's sake, you haven't got any customers whatsoever and um, the, the, the marketing campaigns are aiming, obviously, at O-Connect because that's the one that's going to, to kind of, you know, set things in motion. So, and again, I give you a guesstimate. Let's say for argument's sake that um, um, the one of the packages comes out at $50. So you get your first customer, that gives you $50 in your kitty. Um, you then have to to um, 
repay your 50 for Okenex. So there you go. You've got the commission come in and the next customer then pays you $12.50. The next customer pays you $12.50. The next customer pays you $12.50 and so on. Now, if there's a another product that comes out that is, again, let's, for argument's sake, call it $50 and it's O-Tracker um, and there's not you haven't got sufficient commissions come into your kitty you can wait or if you wish to you can add to your subscription but what you've got to consider here uh, and what dr susan and dr Tarek have been pushing for um in a very big way that ash is well aware of and and Mohammed Kamal as well, they want this to go, come on guys, let's get this going, because they know it's going to go viral. And that means we're going to get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, thousands and thousands of customers coming in. You haven't got a product like this on the market. But worst case scenario, you keep paying into Okanet because you've got sufficient commission coming in. And as more customers come on board, it will give you the commission capability to then be able to purchase O-Tracker for argument's sake. And then now you've got two products in there that can be offered and the company will continue to, to uh, build on those two products. So, but the object of the exercise from Ash Mufara's point of view was you pay once, um, you, well, originally we paid our $97 and we've paid once for O-Connect. And the reason they haven't gone um, uh, live on O-Connect was because if you think about it, and Ash mentioned this on a, on a webinar, he could have charged $100 a month. And you've got over a million subscribers. So that's a hundred million a month. We've they have lost out on over a billion dollars worth of income for the company, but that is not something that he's concerned about. What he's concerned about is ensuring that people are in a position to be able to use the commission, the affiliates, the early bird affiliates to use the commission to be able to pay for the product again and again and again. So if there's a shortage for the next product, you have a choice. You can either wait until there's sufficient commission coming in from O-Connect and it will come. And then you can then upgrade and buy O-Tracker and now I've got two products and so on. You could do it that way. It is not an essential the plan is it's not an essential for you to have to add money to your account. Does that make sense? Someone nod. Well yeah. done, Gipti. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yes. <laughs> yes, Andy, thank you so much for, yeah, you rather uh, went all around it. I mean, you've answered all the question. Of went beyond as well. Uh, so thank you so much. Um, before I go to the next question, Alice, uh, I believe is from the deaf community. She put in something here. So most of the times we refer to the deaf community, we refer to them as D-E-A-T-H instead of D-E-A-F. So it is deaf and not deaf. So uh, that is what she wanted to draw that distinction. So we know exactly how to address them. Thank you so much, Alice. Uh, Peter, next question. Could you please publish the next question, please? Thank you. Um, that was Chima. Chima says, um, when you change the password in your OES, it says password successfully changed. But when you go to sign in, it says incorrect. I have to affiliate to try, it, but it's not working. Um, is anybody ready to check that? Password change. Before anybody comes in, I just want to say I have experienced that myself. Um, I try to do that, and then it goes back the same thing. And I think it's something that Matty might have mentioned that too. Um, so I'm just just a matter of time. It's something I'll be taking care of from my perspective. Um, I don't know if there's anybody who wants to have a different opinion or have something else to add. Yeah, I'll 
No, you're right in what you're saying there, uh, Frank. <clears throat> um, what it do, you you can change, it, but it doesn't change. I've I've done it myself. You change it in the OES in the back office. It says successful, and then when you go back to it, it's unsuccessful. You can't put the new password in. But if you put the old password in, it, it goes straight into the account. There is a glitch there, and I do know that on passive do know about it. It's probably something that will be sorted out. Obviously, in the, you know they are, they're obviously doing a lot at the moment in the background, trying to obviously get the products ready. And I'm I'm sure that's something that's obviously going to be handled in the next uh, the next round of the new stuff that's coming out. To be honest, so, okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Um, just to add that those who are experiencing issues of that nature, please um, go with the OTP for now to be able to get into your OES and of course uh, you try to resolve that issue. That's what I do for my aid. Thank you. Peter, any other question? Uh, no, I think that's it. Now there's no more questions there in the uh, questions and answers. So uh, hmm. back to that's back great. To you. Yeah. All right, um, guys, it looks like we don't have any question yet. Um, looks like it's just like a, it happened last two weeks. Last week, last week was just about under 10 minutes. Today is about 25, 30 minutes. Uh, so looks like everybody's getting it. If anybody has any question, please, this is the time. Uh, whilst we prepare to round up. Whilst we wait for... Uh, Quest, more questions to come in. Um, but uh, John, my brother from Cameroon, John, it's good to see you. Uh, you hinted you wanted to have a word. Please go ahead. Oh, good. So, thank you. I was just listening. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm happy for the evening. And I will just make reference to the key question that I've asked for today, which has to do with uh, whether people understood uh, the vision of of the company. I think uh, it is important for us to say that all those who have an IT background and especially the old tech pros, pros guys have done a lot in increasing uh, the understanding of the mission of the company. Because to say the truth, uh, more than 90 something percent of people don't really care much about understanding the mission of the company. But with the, the effort of on explaining the nature of the products, IT products and all of that, uh, that mission is gradually uh, emerging or making, it's making people, that those explanations are making people to understand exactly uh, the mission of Unpassive. Otherwise, so many people will not really have it in mind. So uh, it's a way of uh, saying that, uh, acknowledging that the old tech pros are doing, doing a lot of work a lot of good work, and I think the CEO has acknowledged that, and it has contributed in people exhibiting the kind of patience that is required at this moment in time. So, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I think the work has to continue. Thank you. Okay, there's no more. No thank more you, Brother Bob, Brother John. Um, thank, you. thank you so much. Okay. No more, right. more questions. Um, so I'm just going to be handing over to. All right. Thank you, Peter. Um, Sister Fumin, if you if you're back um, and you want to come in, just let me know anytime you're ready. Um, um, in the meantime, I, I I I I am here. So we, if there are no questions, we can hand back hand over back to Mama Maxine to close the meeting, please if we don't have any more questions, basically, which Brad Peter said there are no more questions. All right. Thank you so much. Um, Sister Marcien, back to you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And uh, we have someone in the house that uh, has not talked. I know she's smart. She's always there listening to us. Maybe we'll give her the opportunity to close this meeting for us. We appreciate it. Sister Gifty, if you can close the meeting for us tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sister Masin. It was such a wonderful session. We have learned a lot today also. And also keep 
in mind, as our brother Oliver said, we have to make it a point that we'll go to our back office, our OES to I mean, check everything out, play with them, and see how best we be, will be able to I mean, manage our business because the time will come when we call them, <laughs> they will not answer us. So please make it a date and a point to visit your OES each and every day. We really do appreciate each and everyone here for joining each and every Sunday, I mean, to ask questions for us, to, I mean, talk about our business. It is for us. Uh, I believe we are taking a lot in today and we are going to make use of it. We really appreciate each and everyone. Thank you for coming. We are meeting here same time next week. So please make it a point and invite your brother and your sister who are I mean, sitting behind, always calling you to ask questions. Let them come here and let us share ideas together. Thank you very much. We really appreciate Brother Bob, Brother Collins, Andy, Peter, each and everyone here. God richly bless you. See you same time this week. Love you all. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, Good I just, night. Good morning. I, I just want to make Bye. one announcement for God before we go. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, I, um, I think in Belgium, they'll be having a, a, a get together on the 17. I think they have the, if they are Belgian people here, please, uh, you can contact uh, um, Joan. I don't know if she's here. Belgium. But, yeah. So they want to have like on passing get together. So I'll be, I'll, I'll join okay. them there because I'll be working in Holland. Oh. So, was those, those who are there, they invited me. So I just had to announce it. Those who are around, if you want to, Join them, mm -hmm. that's fine. It's just a little thing because they are oh, planning for other On the 17th people. of this month. 17th of this month, a Friday. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I've just decided to say, all right, after oh, my work, okay. I'll, I'll just pop in in Belgium because it's close by. Mm -hmm. Just to give them that moral boost. Okay. Grandpa was supposed to be there, but things mm -hmm. didn't work out. So. I... <laughs> 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 yeah.